Week Torres, the Vigo County Jail is short staffed by nearly two dozen employees. With the transition to the new county jail quickly approaching in a pending federal lawsuit regarding the current facility, local leaders say it's vital to reverse these staffing issues. Terry Craig is here to tell us what they plan to do to provide the community with a fully staffed jail. Terry. Last year, the Vigo County Council approved a 5% pay increase for jail staff, and a bigger increase could be discussed next month. Population has always been a concern for us. We've always been overcrowded since day one, but also staffing has been a concern as well. And it looks like there's an appropriation where correctional officers might make a little bit more money coming up here in the next couple months. In a statement, Vigo County Sheriff John Plassey says he submitted a request for salary increases to county council for jail staff. He says only 45 of 68 available jail positions are filled. Vigo County Commissioner Chris Schweitzer says extra money could alleviate staffing issues. Along with that extra money and also a brand new building that they get to work at and understand that they're in safe conditions with the inmates and safe conditions as employees as well, I think we're going to get people here and I think they're going to be interested in working for Vigo County. Schweitzer says county leaders meet regularly with the federal judge to provide updates on the progress of jail staffing. We get to meet with Judge Jane Magnus Stinson often and give her details of what's going on within Vigo County and Vigo County government and our jail. And, you know, I think we're doing everything we're supposed to do and we're going to get there soon to have that complete. The transition to the new jail is expected to happen this summer. And Schweitzer says the construction of the new county jail is nearly complete. The sheriff's office is almost completely finished. Uh, carpets in, tables are in, chairs are in, some of the FF and E stuff is in, and things are going really well on the jail side. Same thing. A lot of the mechanical, electrical, and plumbing is done. Even Joint has internet up into the building now, so things are going really well. The construction of the new jail is expected to be complete next month.